Good evening, folks. The first part of tonight's news will be a follow-up to They Want to Blame You. If you haven't seen it, you could Google that or hit pause and click the link in the About section. It'll open up a new window. Tonight is not the night to ignore the link list, by the way. Interested parties will lack free time for at least a day. Focal point is Cosmic Rays. If true, this news strengthens the arguments for cosmic climate forcing, especially given that Earth's magnetic shield is weakening according to every official source. I say, if true because I have previously examined the arguments on both sides of this. Even among the leaders in the field, there's much disagreement on cosmic rays and clouds. But a point where everyone is on the same page is this. Solar activity and strong magnetic fields associated with it block galactic radiation. This is an old University of Delaware page, but it's perfect for this example. Up top we have solar cycles. High activity means strong fields and emissions. And when that magnetic shield weakens during solar minimum, the cosmic rays below penetrate much more. Even comparing cycle to cycle, look how much stronger one cycle is than another and how much more the cosmic rays plummeted during the stronger solar activity. This correlation is incontrovertible. Bit of review, Earth's magnetic shield has a partner in failure and his cohort is our star. When two National Solar Observatory physicists suggested our next cycle could have no sunspots, many ignored it, but the pattern and indicators of a magnetic shutdown cycle to cycle, like the Dalton or even mini maunder like minima, is now also incontrovertible. We are at the point of a solar pole flip now, the cycle is almost peaked. It is in progress so to speak, we know the southern pole flipped in 2012 right there, and if it is any indication of what's coming, the weakening will continue. While the north is on the southern side right now, it does appear to be headed back up and therefore not yet completely flipped. What would erasing that delicate cosmic ray balance on Earth do to our climate? I'm not sure. But with Earth's field weakening 10% since the 19th century, we are seeing two shields fade, with one of them, the more important one for cosmic rays, potentially going on hiatus for a while. I find it odd that cosmic rays are not a greater focal point in mainstream climate science. This doesn't belong hidden in paid journals, occasionally summarized on science pages days to weeks later. This is what everyone should know. Anyway, sunspots are trying to make a comeback. We'll see how they're doing in the AM. It appears the coronal hole stream for the departed northern opening arrived two full days later than I imagined. So, not surprisingly, the post-density spike speed ramp is not a tremendous one. Filament nearby this morning's dancer took the high road, leapt off to the south. Coronal hole still weak on Iswa, but the watch is slightly elevated at 6 to 7, if only for the position and size. Plasma filaments and 304 angstroms to close via the SDO AIA on Helio Viewer. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.